So what I want to change in here, right, is I want to make this like a little spicy, exciting thing. So I'm going to go ahead and scooch this right on over. All right, lovely. Uh, I think I'm going to do a quick displace. I'm just going to go to blast through a kind of little experiment here. The idea is that you could essentially do anything you kind of wanted to think about uh, here in our development branch, right? Our other branch where we're, uh, we kind of have a play space. And we don't have to worry about how that's going to mess up what's happening in our main branch. So I happen to know already that I want the uh, offset weight for this to be 0 and 0 for now. Uh, I'm going to turn my displace weight also down to 0 and 0. So what I want to do here in my first parameter, right, my displace weight, I think this is, uh, that looks like it's got to be x. I'm going to turn that up just like a smidge of Here my noise, I don't want this to actually be quite so wide. I want it to be more like uh, maybe 1 by 20, right, so 20 samples. We can see that it's got a kind of smoothing effect there. That's not what I want. I think actually what I want for my viewer smoothness, oops, excuse me, my input smoothness is nearest pixel. So I've got this nice kind of like, kind of like sliced kind of look. I'm going to go ahead and turn on a little channel mask there. Cool. And then I think I also want to turn down that displace weight, maybe just like a smidge. Yeah, more like that. I want it to be animated, so I'm going to animate this noise. Oh, it's a little fast. Let's like, let's turn that down just a little bit. Yeah, groovy. While I'm at it, let's go ahead and add a blur. I think I want to blur my original. And then I want to composite these together. So let's go ahead and add a composite. Doink, and let's plug this blur in here. Let's get on there. I like these orders to be nicely kind of lined up there. And I think the composite method that I want is actually glow. That's, I think, what I want it to, to have this kind of like, ooh, child. Yeah, that's better. We're getting there. And I think that's probably all right for what's happening here. But, mm, you know, I want a few other things to change too. So let's back out here. Let's save that change here to our post. All right, save that. I'm going to overwrite my post external that I have. But I want to animate this rotation. So I'm going to animate the rotation of my torus. And I need to make sure that I put that, there we go. All right. That's like a weird, funky, kind of like composite oddity that, you know, I'm, I'm jamming with that for the moment. I'll, I'll take it. You know, on second thought, I think this blur could just be like, you know, maybe a smidge. Yeah, there we go. I like that. I like that way more. That's rad. That's very rad. And when I think about it, maybe I actually want to, ooh, okay. Groovy. I'm feeling that. I'm going to make sure that I save my base. Okay. Let's save that. Post-process, because I changed that, Goober. All right. I happen to save this container also. So I'm going to save my container. Great. Save. Excellent. And now, if I switch back on over to my GitHub client here, I can see that I've changed my post process and I've changed my container. So I'm going to give myself a little message so I know what I did. Updated externals. Uh, and I added a post process. Added animation to container container. I'm going to commit that to my dev. I'm going to go ahead and push that to the origin. All right, I've been working all day. This is really rad. I'm not ready to show it to my client yet, right? I'm not totally ready to actually show folks what this might look like. So let's go ahead and quit touch here in GitHub, in our GitHub client over here. Let's switch back 
to our master branch. So we're going to switch back to our master branch, and I'm going to relaunch my tow file. And what we should see with any luck, fingers crossed, is that we should see that we moved right back to the place where we were working earlier, right? We moved back to that initial setup where things were, well, you know, kind of boring looking, but that was the place where, that was actually the, the thing that we wanted to get our client feedback on. Okay, we have our great meeting. Everybody loves this, it's really amazing. You know what, we have something that we're working on that's not quite ready yet, but you know what, we could switch over to our dev branch, right? I'm gonna switch to that. I'm gonna start up my tow file again. And what I should see now is I should see, okay, great, you know what, all of those changes I made and saved in my separate branch are here waiting for me, which is pretty rad. That's what I want. More than anything, I want to be able to hold on to those, those crazy goobers, right? We can see here that my rotation is working. We're just way at the beginning and we're moving slow. So all of that stuff is waiting for us. Okay. But what do we do? Great. We've looked at both of them. The client says, hey, you know what? I actually love those changes that you made. Let's pull those in and let's keep that. So here on the internet, right? So on our actual uh, browser, this is where I like to do my commit or my um, pull request. Is what we can do is we can create a pull request. Now, before we, we do that, let's actually take a look over here at this insights tab. And if we look at network, we can see, sure enough, right, here's all of the work that we did in our master branch. Here's that little dev branch that we created where we have some external uh, changes. And what I want to do is I want to take everything over here and I want to pull it back here into this other bit of progress that we're making. And we can do that, hint, we're going to pull it back in there with a pull request. So I'm going to create a new pull request. I want to take the things from dev and pull them over into master. I'm going to create my pull request. We can see the things that were actually in my commit message showed up here. I happen to be the only one working on this right now, but if you had other people in your, uh, on your team, you could assign kind of managing this or evaluating this or checking to see if it will work to another person. I can create my pull request. All right, everything looks like it's jamming. I'm gonna go ahead and merge those things together. Confirm that merge. Bada bing, bada boom. We've pulled everything from dev into master. And at this point, we've managed to move the work, the experimental work that we were doing actually into the master branch of our project. How do we know? Well, let's check again back over here. Let's go to our little GitHub app. Let's fetch origin. That means it's gonna go see what other updates exist out in the world. I'm gonna switch back over to my master branch. I'm gonna do that fetch one more time because I actually wanna fetch here from master. And then last but not least, I wanna make sure that I do a pull. Okay, so far so good. Let's quit. Let's launch our tow file and let's see if it worked. Do, 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 do. This is also, you know, aside from being a way that you can work in a team, this is a great way for you to think about how you work on your own projects as a way of being able to keep track of the experiments that you're having and having consistent ways of tracking changes that you might make. Sure enough, we're now here in the master branch. The changes that we made have lived over here and we have successfully managed to move our project forward just even a little bit. The other handy thing that we have access to here is that if we go back and look at our code, and if we look at our commits, we can again, we've got a whole kind of like lovely little set of breadcrumbs that help us keep track of what we actually have done uh, and who's done them when they happen. We could also go over to insights. We could look at our network and we can see there we are. Here's all of our master branch work. There are some experiments in dev that got pulled into master. And this is a nice way for us to be able to really hold on to the wild, crazy experimental ideas that we're working with. It also means that by externalizing those toxins, we could really be able, been able to narrow down where we're making changes. That's a kind of foundational idea that feeds into some of the work that happens 
uh, especially in the presentation that Zoe and I gave on modular architectures and large systems. And so hopefully this helps bolster some of your understanding of Git and why we might want to have, you know, why we might in the first place want to explore some of these kinds of ideas. All right, I know that's a big like wild crazy race, but that gets us started and hopefully you can start playing with Git and happy programming. See you all later.